Ah, hello, and this time it is good evening. Why? Well, I've just come back from an excellent trip into London, organised by David Ballam, chairman of the Dorking Camera Club. Where did we go? Well, we went to the highest viewing platform in the city of London. Yes, I'm talking about Horizon 22, one of the tallest buildings in London, not quite as high as the Shard. Now, the entry is free, but you have to book ahead. And the photography, well, it's a bit of a challenge. I've had a go, so I thought I'd give you a little programme about my photography in Horizon 22, and you can let me know how well I did. So, here are the photos. There are 58 floors between ground level and the viewing platform, but going up in the express lift you only experience ear popping. This is the first view upon arrival. It was a beautiful sunny day, but not without its problems. It seemed to accentuate reflections from neighbouring windows. This became the big challenge to find views without these reflections, and it wasn't easy. The first rule for shooting through glass is to place the camera so that it touches the glass. That is, if you can find a section devoid of fingerprints. It may be necessary to remove the lens hood. However, being on the highest viewpoint in London, invariably I was pointing the camera down, allowing stray light in. A rubber lens hood might have solved the problem. For the shoot, I used the OM5 plus 12-45 Pro lens and nothing else. All shots are handheld as tripods are not permitted. The reflections are mostly visible in the sky, which could be cropped out. More controversial is correcting diverging verticals, but I will leave that up to individual taste. You will discover my preference, but it may not be yours. For views to the south, I was shooting into the sun, making matters worse. However, going in on telephoto reduced the problem. I am not a lover of HDR, preferring to make changes in post-production as it is easier to alter later. Here is the raw image out of camera with no changes other than correcting diverging verticals first. A few minutes later, the big view of the south became manageable because the sun had gone behind a cloud, reducing brilliance inside the platform. I don't over-control the camera. By saving to RAW, I have greater scope for corrections later. I don't expose to the right. That would be disastrous here, with the potential of high-contrast images burning out that even Photoshop cannot correct. But I do control exposure by spot metering, a technique that requires considerable experience. Also. I keep ISO on 200 for optimum quality and with publishing in mind. There is no point in bumping it up here. Views eastwards to Canary Wharf were largely devoid of reflections, and sometimes great views, as here in the other direction, it is spot by reflections, but it can be rescued by cropping. I was fascinated by shadows, so I finished my shoot with a few more general interiors before we descended for a well-earned lunch in Leadenhall Market. Again, thanks to David for arranging the trip. By the way, he is the chap on the right. <laughs> 